Welcome to this lesson on graphing linear inequalities. A linear inequality is an inequality involving a linear function. And inequality just means it has one of these four symbols. Less than, greater than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to. And the solutions to a linear inequality can be shaded on a coordinate plane. So let's look at this example. So this inequality says y is greater than or equal to negative 3 halves x plus 1. So let's say this was an equation, a linear equation. So my y-intercept is 1. My slope is negative 3 over 2, which means it rises 3 and runs 2. And then I would connect the points and draw my line. So that's the same. The only difference is I also have part of the coordinate plane shaded, and that's because of this sign, this inequality sign. Because we don't just want the points along that line. We want everything greater than or equal to that line. So all of these points, these infinitely many points that are shaded, are solutions to this inequality. And what that means is if I pick a point in this shaded region and I substitute it into this inequality, the inequality will be true. So let's prove it. Let's say I pick the point 3, 2. All right, so 3, 2. Let's substitute into that inequality. So I'm going to change the y to 2. I'm going to change the x to 3. All right, so negative 3 over 2 times 3. It's like negative 1.5 times 3. That's negative 4.5 plus 1. And negative 4.5 plus 1 is negative 3.5. All right, so let's make sure that's true. So 2 is greater than or equal to negative 3.5. Well, that's definitely true. A positive number is greater than a negative number, so it's true. And that will work for any point that you pick in this shaded region. And it, it continues on. It's not just within the, the boundaries of this coordinate plane. It continues on forever. Okay, so let's talk about inequalities in slope-intercept form. So when an inequality is in slope-intercept form, we're going to plot the y-intercept first, and then we'll use the slope to plot other points. So that's step one. Let's do that. So I have y is greater than or equal to 3x minus 4. So I'm going to plot the y-intercept at negative 4. And then we're going to use our slope to plot the other points. So my slope is 3 which is 3 over 1, which means I'm going to rise 3 and run 1. Rise 3, 1, run, 3, 1. And then I'm going to connect these points with a line. And I kind of already did step 2 here. But for inequalities, there's two types of lines you can have. You can have a dashed line for less than or greater than or you can have a solid line like I just drew because that is less than or equal to and greater than or equal to which is what we have in this problem and then the third step is shading so we'll shade above the line for greater than or greater than or equal to and we'll shade below the line for less than or less than or equal to so since this is greater than, I'm going to shade above the line, so here. So all of those are solutions to that inequality. All right, if you have an inequality in standard form, the first thing you want to do is convert to slope-intercept form. So I'm going to convert this to slope-intercept form. The reason we want to do that instead of just using the x and y intercepts is so we can make sure we're shading the correct way. If you just use the x and y intercepts, you may accidentally shade the wrong way. 
So let's convert it to slope intercept form. So I'm going to move the 2x to the other side. So it's going to become negative 2x. It's like I subtracted 2x from both sides. And then I'm going to divide everything by negative 4. And remember, when you divide by a negative, you have to flip or reverse the inequality sign. So now it's y is greater than. All right, let's simplify these fractions. Negative 2 over negative 4, that's positive 1 over 2x. And then 8 over negative 4, that's negative 2. Once you have it in slope-intercept form, then you can just follow the steps above. So step 1, we want to plot the y-intercept at negative 2. Then we want to use the slope, so rise 1, run 2, rise 1, run 2, and go the opposite direction. Now, this is just greater than, not greater than or equal to. So instead of a solid line, I'm going to draw a dashed line, just like this. And it can go outside the graph, that's totally fine. And then it's greater than, so I want to shade above the line. And I'm going to use a different color here just so we don't get the shading and the line mixed up. So I want to shade above the line. Okay, go ahead and pause the video now and try one and two by yourself. All right, let's see how we did. So on number one, we need to plot the y-intercept of two. And then we're going to run one, sorry, rise one, run two. And this is a negative slope, so make sure the line falls from left to right. And this is going to be a dashed line because it's just greater than. And it's greater than, so we want to shade above the line. All right, number two, we want to convert this to slope-intercept form. So I'm going to move the 4x to the other side, subtracting 4x from both sides so it changes to negative, and then divide by 5. Negative 4 fifths won't reduce, so I'll just leave it negative 4 fifths. 20 over 5, that's 4. Okay, so I'm going to plot my y-intercept 4. Then I'm going to do rise over run, 4 over 5, 4 over 5. This is going to be a solid line because it's less than or equal to. And it's less than, so I'm going to shade below. Okay, you can stop the video now and complete your practice.